Once you've registered and then you log into your account with us, this is the dashboard that you will see. Um, there's multiple things here, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through each one and we'll spend the most time on how to enter your items. This first box here shows your registration status. And if it says here that you're not verified, make sure and go back to your email and um, click on the verification link so that you can get your email verified and start entering your items. Uh, this middle box will have the public event start date. That doesn't really make any difference to you, so just ignore that. Uh, once the sale starts and we start uploading items that you sell, you'll start to see a sell through right here. Um, and then the video that you're watching now will actually always be available in this box so that um, it is easy reference in case you need to go back to it. It's got here how to contact us. The settlement report section is um, only useful during the sale. And so you'll get an email from me during the sale about how to use that. And so where we're going to spend our time here is the manage items spot. So that's what we're doing. You can see I've already entered some items. Um, here, so I'm going to show you the best way to do that um, and some tips and tricks to make it easier for you. Um, one thing I want to point out here is um, you can always change the number of items in this box. You may or may not be able to see my pop up here, but I've got options when I click on this box um, up to 216 items. You want to see as many items there in that box as possible. So I like to change that to the biggest number I can. Uh, there are three ways to enter your items. So you'll click on this ad and you'll see that there's an, a manual ad, which is what we're going to do here on the desktop. And um, that's the way I'm going to spend the most time showing you today. There are two voice ways to enter your items, either through the Chrome desktop or a mobile keyboard. Um, I will show you a little bit on the Chrome desktop how to do that later. Um, I'm old fashioned, so to me it's faster to do it on my laptop right here, but um, obviously you do it the way that works best for you. Um, so I'm going to click here on add and then you'll see a box that pops up where you make your choices on what you're entering. Um, you'll see all of our categories here listed. Um, there's a lot of times that you might be entering something and you can't find a specific cate category for it. Um, then you can just choose miscellaneous. If there is a category here, we want you to choose it, um, the correct one. But, um, but if there's not, then you can do miscellaneous. That's fine. Um, so let's say I'm going to go enter some girls clothing. And um, when I choose a clothing or a shoe or a costume category, this size box is also going to pop up. Um, if I don't have clothing, if I choose something like furniture, you're going to see this box here, but it's not going to have anything in it. There's no options in it, and so you can just ignore it. There's nothing you have to do with it there. Um, but I'm going to go back to my clothing category, and then I'm going to select a size. And again, I'm not sure if it can record the choices here, but when you get in the system, you'll see it. I'm going to choose a size for my item. And... Um, whenever you're choosing a size, if you're, if you want to choose whatever the tag says on the item, if the tag has a size range, like six to nine months, um, I will always choose the lower size because I'd rather somebody get home with something that is too big than something that's too small. And so I would choose if it was six to nine months, I would choose the six month. Um, here in the brand, um, this is where you want to be, start being super specific. And so I always put the brand here in the top box. You'll see in a little bit why and how that's advantageous to you later when you're entering more items. Um, and so here I'm just going to put gap. And I'm going to be as specific as possible in this description box, because if your item and your tag are separated, I, if it just says gap dress, I cannot put those things back together because I have hundreds of gap dresses potentially on the rack. So I will never be able to figure out whose gap dress it is and what your tag goes to. So here you want to be super specific. So I might say a green dress with red Christmas tree. 
And so that way I can find a six month gap green dress with a red Christmas tree. And so I would be able to match your items. You'll see that I try to um, usually type with all lowercase um, letters because that actually ends up giving you more space on the line. Uppercase letters take up more room. So if you want to do a great specific um, description, you want as many spaces as possible. So entering your items with lowercase letters is super helpful. Um, then you're going to go select a price. We suggest 75% off of retail for every item. That is the golden spot. And we've got all sorts of other information on pricing. Um, I'm just going to be choosing prices, not really thinking too much about it in this example. Um, so I'm going to choose my price. And then are the discount and donate boxes. If these two will always be automatically um, checked, the system is set up to automatically check them. Um, and so if you don't want to donate something, if you want it back, you'll need to uncheck that box. If you don't want to discount something, and discount means on our half price night, it goes 50% off. On our 75% off morning, it goes 75% off if it's still there. If you don't want to do that, you will have to uncheck that box. We do suggest you always leave this box checked because um, we have found that items are 20% more likely to sell in general if they are marked to be discounted because the people that come back and shop on half price and 75% off days are only looking for discounted items almost exclusively. And so you really miss out on an opportunity to sell if you choose not to discount something. Everything priced $3 and under has to be discounted. That is one of our rules. And so you wanna make sure that anything, any of those items always um, you leave discounted. Um, and so now I'm going to, then you have this box that says add one item. You may not be able to see, but if you click on it, it has other numbers there. We actually don't allow you to add more than one item at a time. So you'll never change that box. Then you're gonna go in here and click on add. You will see then that this item just got added right here and there's nothing I have to do to save it. There is nothing, um, it's, it's just always straight into the system. So there's nothing I have to do there. Now I wanna show you something else. So I'm gonna go add something else. I'm gonna go back to girls clothing. I'm gonna select a different size. I still want gap. Um, and this time I'm going to do jeans with um, pink flowers and select my price. I'm going to leave discount and donate. This box here that says clear description fields, if that is checked, it will clear all of these choices out that you made after you add your item, just like it did when I added um, that dress a second ago. But if you uncheck this box, watch what happens. I'm going to add my item. And then the box that stays popped up keeps all of the choices and everything I just made. The reason that this is a great way to do it is the more organized I am, the less I have to choose and type. So what I always suggest you do is go in and sort, especially when you're, we're talking clothing, sort by gender, then by size, then by brand. By doing that, if I have all my girls 12 month gap items together, guess what? When this I add an item, this all stays up here and all I have to do is go change the description to the next thing, red raincoat. I don't have to go back and change the 12 months. I don't have to go back and change gap. I don't have to go back and change the clothing. And if the price is going to be the same, I can leave it that way. And so it just saves me so much time on entering. Of course, if you need to go change the price or change something, you can do that. Um, but as long as you leave this box under here unchecked, clear description fields, then these items will, um, these choices will stay popped up and then your entering items is easier. So again, be organized and it'll make your entering items much faster. Okay. So that's, that's super easy. That's how you enter your items. You will go and choose the category, the size if needed, put the description in, and for everything, including uh, furniture, including toys, 
um, you're going to, again, want to your description to be as specific as possible. So you'll go in and change that to Fisher Price or whatever, and then make your choices there, okay? And so that's how you enter items, it's super easy. Um, let's say that I, this um, green dress with a Christmas tree that I marked not to be donated, I'm like, no, I do not want that thing back in my house. I want it to be donated if it doesn't sell. I can go in and check this box and click on edit, edit single item. Um, actually, that's not what I can do here. When I, if I decide I want to change that price to 350, I can do that here with edit single item. So now it's 350. But if I want to go change donate no to donate yes, I click on edit and the discount and donate um, things have their very own buttons. So now I can, I can click on mark donate and I'm like, yep, you're going to mark it to be donated. And now that says donate. So if you want to change discount and donate, they have their own buttons, but all the other things, the category, the price, all those things have their own, um, you, you will go into the edit and just change those here, okay? If you wanna edit multiple items, let's say I want to make all three of these $4, I can go to edit, edit multiple items, and here change, select, it's the price that I want to change and change it to $4 and update. And now all three of these are $4, okay? So easy peasy when it comes to um, editing items that you're gonna do. You don't need to worry about some of the other things that are in there that say mark not sold, mark printed. You don't need to worry about those. Okay, um, another thing I wanna show you, I don't know if I've already done this. Oh, I did, I did. Are these other columns over here? There are columns that you don't need to worry about. This POS download approved and NA columns are not columns that you will ever use. Those actually, we don't use those at all during our sale. These are for other sales that have online events and they use those, we don't use them at all. So you're just gonna ignore those. Um, once you've printed an item, it's going to show, it's going to put a check mark here. So you can see I'd already gone in and printed those. I would normally wait till the end of the sale or the end of when I'm done entering to print everything. Um, but you don't have to. And so those will show up printed or not printed. Um, items sold, not sold, you won't ever worry about because it won't show up sold or not sold until after the sale's over. Um, is when this, these boxes will change for things that sold. Um, over here, you can sort any um, field. So I'm gonna go uncheck those boxes there. And I can sort by category. So all my boys' clothings together, I can sort by size. Um, I can sort by price. And so you can go in and sort any of these. You can also filter. So let's say I only want to see my boys' clothes. I can go up here to, um, to the categories and I can choose boys' clothing and refresh. And now I can only see boys' clothing. What you do want to make sure you do is after you're done doing whatever it was you were going to do because you wanted them filtered is to go back in and unfilter that or you're going to think some of your items have disappeared and it's only because you put a filter in there. So always make sure these say any or all or whatever they need to say to show you everything. But you can go in and sort by any of these columns or filter by um, most of them. So that's another thing that you can do. Um, okay, so when you're ready to print, like I said, I would normally print all mine at the same time. But let's say I printed a few before. Um, and so I can go in and sort this so I can see the things that didn't print. And so I'm gonna choose these three things. If I hadn't printed before and I wanted to choose everything, I could just click on this top box and it would pick everything that I have. And so I could print all of them. Okay, so that's the other way that you can do it. Um, so I'm gonna check mark however many things I want to print. And then I'm gonna go up here to the print button and hit print. And it's gonna tell you to go check your downloads. So I'm gonna go over here to my downloads. And there are my tags. Your tags will print eight to a page. And so um, 
You can print them at home. We do have some requirements on certain printers you have to use if you're going to print at home. We've got all that information on our website. Um, but I always just um, send mine to Office Max or whatever. This is a PDF file. Um, and I, so I send them somewhere to be professionally printed because they print straight and clear that way. And they'll also, for an additional fee, cut them for me so I don't have to do that either. So, but this is how your tags will look whenever they are ready to print. So that's super easy to do. Um, okay, let's see what else I need to show you from here. I think I've shown you pretty much everything you can do on this screen. Um, if you're like, you know what, I'm actually going to give that to my sister-in-law for her daughter, and I'm not going to sell that anymore. I'm going to check mark it, click on delete. It'll say enter the number of items you want to delete. Well, I just want to delete one, and I'm going to delete item, and then that item is gone. The number that that item, so each item gets an item number and that number will never be replaced. Um, and so if it was, if I delete here, if I delete 1604, I go delete that. Oops, shoot. Um, if I go delete that and I look here, 1604 is gone forever. It's not going to get 1604 again, but it knows I have nine entries, whereas before I had 10. So it keeps track with how many items you have, um, no matter if they're you're missing a number in here or not. OK, so hopefully that makes sense. OK, the last thing I want to show you is how to voice enter. Um, you can go up here to add. I'm going to show you how to use Chrome doing it. Um, and so I'm going to choose that. There's very specific ways that you, a very way that you have to speak in order to get your item to go in. And so um, first you select the category and size down here because you can't speak those. So let's say I want to do um, girls clothing and I'm going to pick a size four. Okay, and so then it says to press start speaking and you're gonna speak the rest of the tag per the specific pattern and order below. You always have to speak the dollar amount and the cents amount and you must speak the word submit. So this gives you an example of how to say it. You have to say the word brand and then say the brand, the word description and then the description, the word price and then the price and the word discount and the word donate and so forth. And so I'm going to give you an example and show you exactly how I would do that now that I've selected my, um, uh, my category and my size. So I'm going to click down here on Start Speaking. And then I'm going to follow this um, pattern here. Brand, Gap, Description, Yellow Raincoat, Price, $5.50 discount, yes, donate, yes, quantity, one, submit. So now it says I successfully entered this item, right? So I can close this. It's going to be down here in the last thing that I entered. Here it is right here, exactly like that. And you can edit it just like you can any other item. So if you want to um, voice enter, you can. Um, with voice entering, you have to remember that our minimum price is $2 and everything has to be in 50 cent increments. So it has to be $2.50, $3.54, so forth. Um, but that's how you voice enter. Um, and so anyway, this is how to enter your items. I hope this helped. And um, if you have any questions, of course, you can always email us and um, let us know how we can help you.